Radioactive recycling allegations have prompted a major lawsuit against the state of California. A consumer group just filed the suit saying it wants to prevent nuclear waste from being transported to various California communities. At issue is the Santa Susana Field Laboratory, which is just south of Simi Valley. Boeing wants to demolish allegedly contaminated structures from that site and then transport them elsewhere. And KCAL Online political reporter Dave Bryan joins us live from Simi Valley with the details on this, Dave. Well, that's right, Sylvia Lena. This issue has been brewing here in the Simi Valley area for 25 years. Some activists say they've been fighting that long to get this site, the Santa Susana Field Laboratory site, cleaned up. Now they say they finally won that battle, it's being cleaned up. Now they have to fight to make sure the cleanup is done properly. Once a bustling cutting edge research and development center where among other things early atomic energy projects were a source of great pride, the Santa Susana Field Laboratory in the hills above Simi Valley long ago became a contaminated radioactive source of great concern. We know the site is extensively contaminated. It does have radioactive contamination. It has contaminated water. It has contaminated soil. And you can't separate the structures from all of that. Now the cleanup of the site by Boeing under the supervision of the California Department of Toxic Substances Control, DTSC for short, is the target of a lawsuit by the Consumer Watchdog Group, which charges that radioactive debris from the site is being deposited in landfills and recycling facilities that are not licensed or equipped to handle radioactive material. They're taking it off site and uh, they're doing it in such a way that they're depositing it into places uh, like municipal landfills or giving it to recyclers, which means that people could end up being exposed to this if it's not contained properly. Consumer Watchdog is asking the court to issue an injunction that would halt the demolition and removal work at the site pending the outcome of a trial on the issue. We filed the lawsuit because we want to make sure that no more uh, demolition takes place with any of these structures in the nuclear area of the uh, facility grounds and no more moves off-site, and that no more goes to facilities that are not licensed or equipped to contain radioactive contamination. Now the California DTSC has released a statement calling all of the allegations false, saying, quote, none of the building material demolished and disposed of under DTSC's oversight poses a risk to public health or the environment. In addition, none of the cleanup activities has occurred without required review of the environmental impacts, end quote. But Holly Huff and Don Kowalski, neighbors to the site who are active in the cleanup coalition, say the EPA has been pushed out of an oversight role in favor of the California DTSC, which they say has dropped the ball. When the, when the studies were done on what was polluted and how much pollution there was, it was to go to the EPA and they were to you know, determine where it would go and how much there was, and and they're not involved anymore. They got rid of the EPA. These poor people that are going to be, who are unaware and innocently in their communities being dumped on with stuff that shouldn't be going there. You know, it's just, it's absolutely ludicrous. And thank goodness there are people who are standing up to Boeing and DTSC who are very disappointing over this. Well, the California Department of Toxic Substances Control says that's not true. It says the EPA is very much involved in overseeing this process, as is the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and the California Public Health Department. This will, this will all have to be sorted out by the Superior Court. Live in Simi Valley, Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News. All right, Dave, thank you.